This is part five of my pandemic investing series. Uh, I want to talk about high risk investments, high risk stocks, and get rich quick schemes, and not necessarily schemes. And of course, this is for information and entertainment. It is not investing advice. The, uh, in 2008 and 2009, I had experience with a number of high-risk stocks. One of, them, one of them was Fannie Mae. These are federal home mortgage corporations created by the government, but they were a stock. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac would, went up and down over a period of months uh, very rapidly. And I, I played that market, the ups and the downs, and traded it multiple times and finally got out and made $1,500. And with the process... I looked at it and I knew it was probably going to go to zero and probably be worthless because uh, the uh, Congress was talking about just doing away with the two corporations. I finally um, got out with my money, and, but I kept an eye on it. And that stock went to about five cents a share. And my thought at that time was, well, you know, why don't I just put a thousand bucks back into it, keep $500 profit, and then see what happens with that nickel stock. But, you know, the old adage, bulls make money and bears make money and pigs get slaughtered, I think is a good one. And I just didn't want to be a pig on that. I made some money. I got out. It was very, very high risk. Now, as it turned out, if I had bought my nickel stock, uh, it would have went up to, I think, um, 3 $4. Probably could have made 80 times some money. Would have took 1000 and made it 80000 The problem with that, if you put all your money into those kind of stocks, nine times out of ten, you're going to lose everything. And I had other companies that I thought were much better where I lost practically everything. So even when you pick what you think is really good, sometimes it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It's all right to do this very, very high risk investing. It's all right to pick a Fannie Mae and a nickel a share. But you don't want to put more than maybe 1% or 2% of your entire net worth into it, your entire portfolio into something so risky. Set your limit on high risk. The higher the risk, the greater re the reward. Right now, high risk is going to be casinos. It's going to be cruise lines. It's going to be airlines. And to a certain extent, certain types of oil stocks. So I, I don't know how you can go wrong buying crude oil at 20 bucks a barrel. If I had 5,000 barrels out there, I'd fill them up and, with $20 oil and I'd wait for a year. I'd double my money on it. But buying the stock, buying trust, it's a little bit trickier than that. So I, I think that the whole purpose of this video is to tell you these high-risk stocks have a place in your portfolio. But the, it must be a very, very small amount of money. Amount of money that if you lose it, you won't even bat an eye. You don't really care. It's okay to take those high-risk plays. And, and you know, distinguish that from companies which are probably going to make it. Right now, people think that Disney is a very high risk play. I don't see it as high risk. I see it as a fundamental change in their profitability that they're not going to be as profitable over the next couple of years as they have been. Can you wait five years? Will they go back to that prior profitability? I think so. Will they go broke? I don't think so. But it's something to watch and I don't think Disney is my head. It's low yet. That's an example I'm not telling you to invest in Disney stock. I'm just saying I don't think that's high risk play. I think the high risk plays come in these companies which are on the verge of bankruptcy, which won't make it without government intervention. So if you're going to do the high risk plays and you want to get rich quick, first, you're not going to get rich quick. Usually when you make those investments, it takes five years for them to pay off. Second, you don't want to put all your money in because you're probably going to lose it all. So Use it. Use the strategy. Make it a small, small part of your portfolio and have some fun with it. Make sure it's kind of like going to the casino. That is fun money when you do very high risk plays of these stocks that are just getting killed. Good luck in your investing. And again, this is for fun and entertainment information, not advice. Good luck.